Hi friends and welcome back to the third and final part of this tutorial on how to create a digital planner with the InDesign. If you like my videos, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to stay connected. In the previous video we got to this point. We have done all the months layout and fill the table with the days of the year. Now we are going to create a daily section. To do so we need another master page. Go to the page panel, right click and choose New master page. Here we leave the B prefix and rename the master as daily. Then click OK. Here we can see the daily master page. As you can see, it's empty. We are going to copy and paste in place the same layout of the master A. Click and drag to select all or you can hold the command A and then go to the master B daily and paste in place holding command option shift V. Now also in the master daily we have the same layout. Now we are going to set up the page. Here I put a text box. In a while I show you the way to insert all the 365 days at once. Here I put a table from my daily schedule. Go to table, create table. In my case I want 10 sections for 10 hours of schedule. So I put 10 here and then 2 columns and then click OK. I make some adjustment but you can create your own schedule table. Now right click and choose cell option then strokes and fields and make your adjustment. I prefer thin lines so I put a value of 0.25. 25 points and the color black at 60%. Now click inside the cell to write the hours. Choose text box and make the title of the element, in this case it's schedule. On the rest of the page you can insert the section that you like. In my case I make a priority section, a gratitude section, a to-do section and I will leave a blank space to insert some stickers or widgets. Now comes the part that can save us a lot of time. We are going to insert all the day at once. To do this we need the Excel program. Open Excel, go to File and then New. Then go to the first column and click on the A. In this way we select all the A column. In the top menu open this window and choose long date. Now enlarge this column a bit and click inside. Now write 1 slash 1 2022 the year. In the second row I write 2 slash 1 slash 2022. Now select the two cells together 
and when this blank cross appears, track down until you reach the last day of the year, 31 December 2022. Now, save this file. Go to File, Save As. I put the name Days of the Year. Choose the Destination folder and click Save. Now we go back to InDesign. Go to the Page panel and be sure that you are on the Master Page Daily. Click on this little icon on the left of the text box. I zoom in to show you better. A text in a yellow box appears. This means that the text flow is activated. Now, in the page panel, move to the last page of the monthly pages, right after the month of December. Right-click and choose Insert Page. Be careful here, we need one page and here we choose the Master Daily. This is the first page of our Daily section. Now go to File, Place and choose the Excel file Days of the Year and click Open. As you can see, the text is floating near the arrows of the mouse. You have simply click inside the text box and InDesign automatically add all the 364 page left. Now, adjust the text inside the box. As you can see, here we have two days. Click inside the box and hold Command A to select all the text. Then you can adjust the size, change the color and the font if you want. As you can see, in the other page, there is the right date. Isn't it wonderful and time-saving? Now, I'm going to adjust the master daily page. Let's begin from the schedule section. As we did before, select all the cell like that. Right-click. Cell option, text, and here adjust the position of the text. Don't forget to check preview to see the position of the text while you are adjusting it. Here you can change the font or you can use the existing character styles or create a new one. Ok, I'm happy with the results. Obviously, when we make a change in the master page, all the pages related to this master change it. Now, we are going to do the hyperlinks. That means that if we click here on the 1st of October, the daily page of the 1st of October will be opened. Be careful, because this is the most important part and we have to be very attentive and patient. I'm going to start from the yearly overview page. The first thing that I want to connect are the tabs, so Go to the page panel and choose the A master and we start from here to connect this tab 
to the page yearly overview. When I click here, the links goes to this page that this is the number three. In this master page, click on the text box, then we can go here to the right panel or if we don't see hyperlinks here, go to Window, Interactive and choose Hyperlinks. Be sure that Hyperlinks is checked. We have to connect this page to number 3, here on this icon. Or you can do right-click Hyperlinks, New Hyperlinks, it's the same thing. I prefer working on this panel. And this window opens up. Here, in Link to, Insert Page. Here, there is the name of the document. And here, we put the number of the page that we want to connect. In this case, it's the page number 3. Here, leave fixed, type invisible, highlight known, and then click OK. We recognize that this is hyperlinked because this frame changes into this. We do the same things with the monthly tab. The link monthly will be connected to the first page of the monthly section, that is January. So, the page of January is the number 4. So, new hyperlinks here and here in page I write 4 and then click OK. Do the same for all the tabs and related pages. On the page panel I'm going to check what number of page is. Here I can see that is the number 16. Select the daily here and then new hyperlink and here write 16. That is the 1st of January. The same thing for the yearly overview page. In the previous tutorial we create this transparent circle. So select the circle be careful, select only the circle. Don't do this. So, select this 1st of January and then new hyperlink. And here, the number 16. Repeat this step for 365 times. One hyperlink for each day of the year. For the notes section, we can use the A master page. Go to the end of the page we created. Right click on the last page and choose insert page. This time we choose the A master. And here, two pages because we have notes one and notes this page will be note 1 and this one is notes 2. Now, on the A master page, we connect this notes tab with the page that we have just created. Open the hyperlinks panel and here write the number of the page notes 1, that is 381. Same thing with the notes 2 and the hyperlink will be page 382. Do the same thing for the empty tabs. Don't be afraid to experiment and create more master page and customize the page for your needs. Simply insert as many pages you want after the last page. It's time to save and export it as interactive PDF. Go to File, Export and choose Interactive PDF and click Save. And here comes to the end, the third and final part of this InDesign tutorial. 
hope you find it useful and interesting and if you have uh, any question please leave a comment below i'll be happy to answer don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to stay connected thank you